I like how we just we just never heard from her. We never heard from fucking my mom again. She just she just fucking abandoned me. Story of my life, huh? So, anyways, uh, we're setting our um, our giggles here. We're setting him to get uh, chat and recruit because we want to actually bring him over to our side because more manpower is uh is kind of better for us. So, what can do is gonna come over, try to recruit him a little bit. Uh, what what is the probability of it right now? It's uh, 33% uh, difficulty, uh, allegedly, so it's not going to be that overly difficult to do so. So 20% chance. It'll take a couple times of us talking to him, but eventually we'll get it down. Oh, and it looks like Pat found more food. Alright, am I going to go hunt? Taking berries. Well, I was, I was more doing that in, ca in, in, in an emergency case, but whatever. I got- Pepe got food poisoning from berries. You for fucking real. Look, what kind of berries are these? Alright, what kind of, uh... We have an, uh, some al alpaca hide here. Uh, making a nice bed for him would cost way too much. We'd have to get a bit more hide for him. But we can make him- like, I was making him a bed before, and the only reason I stopped is because I, uh... Shit wasn't that good. Okay, so Pat's gonna deconstruct these uh, these guys. There's, there's skeletons that come out of them. Oh no, there's also a, another corpse here. Consume human corpse. Okay. Hauling steel to cooler. Ah uh, yeah. Why did what could you just go to sleep? Oh, that's right. He has nowhere to sleep, so he's just like whatever. Because Pat hasn't made him a bed yet. No worries, he he took the fucking steel for it's it's my my, uh, my way of getting around the hauling issue of Pat is uh, make him bring it to the things he wants to to make basically. All right, all right, no, you you need to prioritize working on the bed before you go to sleep. Major break risk for Pat. Like it's Pat's always the bitchy one. He observed a rotting corpse. All right, well, someone's got to get rid of that soon. Oh my god. There we go. All right, we should be good now. I mean, I want to get that research bench as well done. The pretty important things. And we gave the Pepe some more berries. But th this gives us poisoning. Why would we do this? This is like animal cruelty. All right, apparently I'm continuing to to kill some animals. But I mean this is our this is our food source right now, so I mean I can grow plants and I've been planning on doing that. I just want to get this research bench going. And potentially someone else here. Like we have a stable food source which is basically to go hunting. So we're we're okay for the time being. Hey guys, can you believe that I actually do well on the ice shelf? I know how to play on there. This is part of the fun though. Apparently I'm really inaccurate with that gun. It's my shooting skill. Six. Is Pat? Oh, Pat doesn't shoot at all. Yeah, I'm the best one for that. Alright. Is it still uh, kind of hot? Yeah, it's, it's 20 degrees right now. But I think this is still the best way of, uh, of dealing with this. We're killing sleeping animals. There we go. You know, you, you'd think that maybe I'd come closer to it to make it so I can hit it better if I was that shit at aiming, but you know, whatever. What do I know? I just have a charge rifle. And Pat here is continuing to cook. Pepe still doesn't have a place to sleep at. Alright. Picking venison. Uh, hunting again. I don't think we need to do any more uh, hunting at the moment, but you know, just in case, I think I think I'll let myself finish that. I think that was the last one. Is there like a turkey or something? Anything else marked for uh, death here? Oh dude, dude, there's a cougar here. 
There's some amazing animals here. It just occurred to me I went way over time, so I guess we'll just do a double episode here. Whatever. I lose track of safety, uh, my, uh, what I'm doing sometimes. How, how long I'm playing this game. Alright, repulsive bedroom. Sounds about right. But we have bigger priorities at the moment, which is like survival. How has nobody moved that corpse? Uh, uh, so pants, uh, the pants worn by Pat have deteriorated into nothing. Sounds about right. The bite scar. Where is... Put another set of pants up hacking worse somewhere. No, it would not appear so. Okay, whoever wakes up first. The fuck? Fuck boar. Yeah, so that boar is uh it's a warg actually, not a boar. See, get some berries. Hey, one sec. We're gonna go and uh, go kill this warg. Actually, there we go. So we have colonist needs treatment. Apparently, I have. Uh, I think it's the asthma acting up. I oh, know. I got a scratch on my paw from from the fucking guy. Is this shit even worth, like, the, the full medical thing? I'm gonna say no. Because, like, I keep using that large-ass health pack, and then, like, it's not worth it. Poor quality treatment, it's fine. Now we can give him good care. Because that, like, I use a med kit every time that we want to fix things stupidly small. Uh, oh, there there is a fucking shit going down right now. Uh, where's Wiki do it? Yeah, Wiki doesn't have a gun, actually, so... Wiki could have a gun, though. Oh, whatever. You know what? Me, me, and, me and the turret should be able to handle this stuff. Okay, okay that guy pieced out. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna capture this guy. One of two things is gonna happen. Either we're gonna harvest his, uh, internal organs or something else. Probably, probably the second one. God, now, now here I am, going back to, right back in there. Major break risk for who? For Pat, again. Apparently he has a bit of a comfort issue. Apparently it's not a very beautiful surroundings either. I probably should have made a stool here at least. Because he keeps having to stand up for this stuff. Apparently I'm going to have to give uh, Pat the big ass couch or something. When he deals with this stuff. When he when he has to do anything, hey, is there is, is there no re do you not want to fucking do you not want to like go to bed to like heal your wounds? Like I can't right click it at all. all. I can do is like the priority is pretty big. It's two. He he won't do anything else. So who's this guy? So this guy is a. Apparently has no relationship. I'm gonna try and chat and recruit him up. He's a teenage male archer of Lyra of St Stingray. So we can actually look at what the, uh, what the fa faction is. So they are an enemy of the Tiger Man, enemy of the Shadow Hunters. So generally speaking, we cannot make the pirates on our side, but we can make these guys on our side. Um, so what we can do actually to do that is we can actually release him. <laughs> Apparently execution is a thing. Nice. It's hard to recruit him anyways. We already, we're already working on giggles here, so. We don't want to get things too too much before we can handle it. You know what, actually, we don't have to do this thing anymore. It's a piece of shit. What we can do now is we actually have a, what it kind of prefers, a deer hide. So if we say, uh, make a bed out of deer hide. Okay, apparently I was blocking the uh, interaction spot right there. The hell yeah well, go ahead you're free to go so they will like me a little bit more every time I do that which is someone less to deal with a little bit later you know that's so it's actually a pretty good idea we don't have enough wood here do we 
Actually, we have more than enough wood. All right. Is there someone else who likes cooking at all? Nah, it's just primarily Pat. Pat is the only one with relevant skills for it. I honestly wish someone we could put someone on cleaning, but to be honest, we need to get that research bench. But the fortunate thing was we're almost done with this crap, so. Uh, because tro uh, Trobo exited the map healthy, the the air of Stingray have, uh, has improved by 15, the faction. So we're, we're getting better with them. So, you know, having more allies in this in this game is actually probably a better thing for us. So pretty much anytime we capture one of them, we're probably going to just do that. We're going to just let him go. All right, we have, oh, a warg became self-tamed. It's Alexia. All right. I guess we'll uh, train him to do a bunch of shit. But we will, first of all, tell him to stay in the home area. He doesn't really have a master at the moment. I mean, I wonder how uh, our other animals' uh, training is doing. Pepe. Can I even rename people, I wonder? I mean, I don't want to really rename this guy. No, I can't. It's just, that's the name for him. Wikidoo is apparently the master. So he's uh, he's obedient, but we are working on rescuing and hauling, which is two useful things. I don't like using them to attack things at all, really. It's just kind of how I am. I have, this, I have these nice things I can still make, but I don't, I don't know what we keep doing here. I mean, one of the problems is that the steel on this map is extremely far away. What are you? You're hunting the turkey. Okay, you. Know, we're gonna. We're gonna actually say we're gonna stop hunting. Hunting shit. No more hunting. Actually, wait. While you're here, you can just go prioritize hauling that. I don't know. I, we didn't kill that, but. There's a fucking timber wolf here. Some pretty badass animals over here, I gotta tell you that much. I mean, it, it was it was dead to begin with, so. Have we seriously not finished this uh, thing right here? All right, one, one sec. Let me set Pat's uh, priority for construct a little bit lower. Probably like to two, to be honest. Okay, he's really insisting on that cooking though. We're gonna set his cooking to three now. Because I'm pretty sure we have enough steel now to cook whatever we want. Pat's also still having an issue with uh, breaking here, but that's fine. We won't have to worry about that for too much longer. All right, I'm thinking that the next thing that we handle right now is maybe the table so we can eat somewhere nice. So let's let's do that because that is like a it's a minor buff to to food and things like that. So we're gonna make a, a small table here. It's it's quite unfortunate that this this place is really weird. Like the layout, just because it ended up being on the top of the map, I'm having to build around that. Uh, but you know what what else can I do? You know, we'll do that, and we're also gonna set some wood for chopping. I mean, it's, we're still good for food. We're gonna want to grow things eventually. Hey, look, there's more fire, but we don't care. Because that's why we haven't had the air conditioner here the whole time. All right, there we go. So that's gonna try, this one's gonna try to maintain a target temperature of 21 degrees, while this one's gonna be a freezer. And so, we're eventually going to need more power supply from this kind of stuff, but uh, for the moment we're we're in the, we're, good, we're in a good spot. We don't have to care too much. Why has no one hauled this uh, this tortoise away? Ah, uh, Wiki's here. Let's uh, tell him to do that right now. Honestly, I should probably get Wiki to do the cleaning right now. Actually, no, no, this, uh, that's w Wiki's job. There you go. Because it's, it's a matter of people hate it when we do that. Like, people hate the bad environments kind of thing. So. Wiki's talents are multi kind of... Oh, okay, okay, I heard something. 
Got food poisoning from a simple meal. Well, guess who cooked that? Oh, he, he threw up and then it just kind of like did that. Observe rotting corpse. When did that happen? Oh, that's like three, that was like a couple days ago. Because the environment is ugly, so every time they're around, and Wiki is still throwing up. Gotta get, he's got a binge and purge or whatever. I guess Pat, whenever Pat cooks, Pat has to go. Oh, there's an escape pod. Who the hell's this person? Who even knows? Let's go capture them. They may need our help. There's a steel slag junk. So apparently they just kind of like, they fall out of their escape pod because there's nowhere near it. I don't know why that didn't happen to us when we originally came here. I don't know what kind of death traps you go in, like, like literally coffins. Do we, do we not care about this guy? Apparently not. It's like, just put him down and then, yeah. Oh, let's fucking heal this guy. He's got like a bruise, a crack in his spine, some blood loss. What can you should probably be uh, having that gun. Now I think about it. But it's been yelling at me that someone will not hunt, and that would be what you do. But he needs a weapon, though. Major break risk for Pat again. Pat is very joy deprived and feeling bad. Repulsive bedroom. <laughs> uh, his problems are minor. Alright. I wonder how Giggles feels right now. He's he is naked in a hideous environment. I mean, I'll, I'll give him that much. We're trying to give him the good old recruiting pep talk. Seven point seven percent chance. Okay, maybe Pat should not be doing that. Actually, he's not that bad at that. Uh, wardening. He's actually probably the our best warden. Uh, well, actually, Wiki is, but... I mean, they can both do it. I mean, it's one of those things that Pat can do. I don't know how the chances are going down. What's the recruitment difficulty still on him? 33%. So it should technically not be that hard to recruit these guys, but... They're just not doing it. Maybe it's just their environment sucks balls. And Giggles apparently decided that it was a good idea to sleep on the ground. Who the hell... Oh, wait, wait, Giggles joined us. And he's sleeping here. Oh. Good times. I was wondering why he just slept on the ground. Okay, so basically the bed is a prisoner bed, so he can no longer use it, weirdly enough. The minute he decided he didn't, didn't want to do that. Cabin fever. Stirp sleep, naked. Alright, well, we can solve a lot of that. What was all the clothing that we had before? Oh, it must have deteriorated away. Or someone else is wearing it. Either one. I mean, this, 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 uh, storage I have is not sheltered. I have to mention that. Uh, I could shelter it if I wanted to. Uh, I just, uh, chose kind of not to. But, you know, we'll, we'll shelter it. We'll shelter it. Just because I want to show you that I'm aware of that, and I just kind of wasn't putting that into a huge priority. So that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put... We're gonna put two players there for support. Oh my god, Pat's actually doing this thing. It truly is a Christmas miracle. Oh my god, we actually have this kind of crap now. Alright, this kind of means that we do need some more power now. And we're gonna go with good old solar power. Not enough saved. Actually, it's just we can't build up here. Too high up. Interesting enough. We'll just build it over here though. We need some more power for that. Uh, but Pat's... Okay, so first of all, research. We have not seen this yet, because we've been taking so long. So we have a couple of options here. Uh, I'm going to slow it, pause it slightly, just because I want to take a look around. So two things that are high priority for us is potentially another power source. Uh, but that's actually not as important as potentially uh, deep drilling. Deep drilling is really friggin' important. So we have one steam geyser over here. Uh, if, we, if we were to do uh, alternate power source, and that's actually pretty much it. Uh, so that's the only place you can build it on, and also over here. So we'd have to basically resettle kind of our area down there, which, I mean, it wouldn't be the worst idea, because I hate being on the edge of this map. I really do. So maybe when we get the chance, um, 
I mean, the layout I chose uh, is pretty bad for for defensive reasons. Uh, it's it's bad for defensive reasons because we're like, I don't know. The best we could do is like build right here because there's a they would have to come around, and even then it's not that lot not that great. So you you want to make essentially a nice place where they have to kind of get into. There, I just realized there's compacted steel here. Uh, we could we didn't actually have to go that far away for our steel. This is this is actually really good for us though. I'm gonna mine that out. I do not see this before. I don't know why. I don't think I was looking at the same rock that my shit is based upon. But I think, yeah, generally speaking, this is the best place for our, our like, our super... Like, we're, we're right now, we're building kind of into a mountain here, and this is not, like, a long-term thing. The long-term thing is actually to build this all out. And then we have one option for power and two options for power. However, it, it can get raided and then it can get destroyed. So it's actually probably... I mean, we could do better than that, to be honest. Uh, so we're gonna skip on the uh, the geothermal power. We're not gonna bother with that. Uh, we have hospital bed. We can do uh, not really something we particularly need. Uh, electric smelting, no. Uh, IDEs, uh, nope. We don't need improvised explosive devices. Moisture pump is not something we need because we're not in a biome that requires that. Carpet making, not that valuable. Multi analyzer, that's pretty good. That's um increases research speed, allow higher level research projects if placed near a bench. Pretty good shit. Uh that might, that's a big maybe for our first one. Fire foam, no. Tube television, no. Uh yeah, we, we can actually get intergalactic sp uh, space t TV. Uh that's actually something we could do. There's hydroponics here. Uh, we do not need that because we're in a place that we can actually grow uh crops outside. It's, there's no problem with that. Uh, smithing for making metal weapons and tools at some point probably uh, brewing we can make beer uh, <laughs> all the good stuff colored lights decorative purposes nah. devil strand uh, pemmican auto doors okay there's also stone cutting here stone cutting I think would be okay as well but I think we're what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the good old uh, I'm saying, okay, the only reason I'm saying stone cutting is because I want to make the internal walls in our little, in, uh, our little place should probably be made out of wood, even though it's very flammable, but uh, the outer walls should be made out of uh, stone. That's what I'm saying. Um, so what we're going to go for is we're going to go for the multi-analyzer because that's the best thing we have at the moment. And so Pat's priority is on research. Quite fortunate for us. Now we can mine this out pretty effectively. In fact, I think Wiki does not even need to do mining anymore. WikiDo's priority is not going to be even close to mining anymore. Okay, WikiDo's going to have number two for clean now. Apparently not that good at constructing. What is... Okay, Giggles is just chilling now. Apparently, uh... Giggles over here is pretty good at planting things. So that's a pretty good thing. We can make him do. How's his cooking skill? He will not cook. He will not hunt. Yeah, there's a lot of things he will not do. Not a terribly useful person, but you know what? At the very least, he can haul and he can clean, which is better than what uh, a lot of people can do. He's actually better than Wiki. Uh, uh, sorry, he's worse than Wiki do in a lot of ways. Because Wiki stalls a lot of good things. Actually, uh, we're not going to call him Giggles anymore. We're going to call him... Uh, this, the... Can I actually rename him? There you go. I don't know, we'll call him like, find the necromantic cat guy. That's you now. Alright, so... Because Giggles is such a retarded ass name, I have to say. And he's capable of violence at the very least, he just won't do mining and shit like that. We know they're attacking him soon. Uh, so, we, okay, we already have that. Uh, cargo pods just came in. This would be all silver. That's pretty good. Cause that's as I said, when a trader comes by, we will uh, we'll be more than happy when that rolls around. And there's a corpse there. We should probably uh, make some more graves. We're gonna need them. Maybe a nice pool table or something. I think we should start working on this as our main 
uh, place for people. I don't know, I started digging out this and then I hated that and it's like, yeah. But it's quite unfortunate because I cannot actually remove this, this high-tech research bench at all. I just kind of have to live with it, so. Minor break risk on, uh, major break risk on Necromantic Cat. Because he's a night owl in the daytime, that's why. He likes being awake from 11 to 8. So that's pretty much what I have everyone doing right now anyways. Uh, so we're gonna just say remove that. And I think we can actually start making people sleep at Actually, why don't we just all be night owls to be honest? Can I be honest with you? Let's just do that. <laughs> Fuck it He's hauling steel around Did we make another bed yet? Uh, we were trying to Why don't you prioritize working on your bed? I don't know why you bro it up there, but whatever. Yeah, but digging into the side of a mountain like this is probably not the best idea I've ever had. What a fucking Pepe got more food poisoning. From human corpse? Why are you eating a human corpse? What is fucking wrong with you? One sec, strip this person and fucking bury them. There's the empty graves down there. Why is he eating a fucking human corpse? Okay, now fucking bury the corpse, just so we don't have to deal with that anymore. What does he had on him? He had fucking travel wear on him. There you go. Okay, now it's not gonna cause us any more problems. Where of our lives, huh? A chunk of space grass has fallen nearby. Well, let's have a look at that. This is the kind of things that we see. So we have a uh, spacecraft here, which we can deconstruct. And uh, it's a little bit far away, but it, it ha usually has some resources uh, that we can use. It's pretty nice, so pretty good shit. How much food do we have? Okay, we're we're okay right now. All right, let's uh, let's put I think either Wikidoo or someone else on a higher priority for construction. Uh, probably Necromantic Cat, I guess. We don't have a very good construction person. I mean, Pat's not going to be doing that. Let's be honest now, he's not, he's need, we need him on research, like, basically permanently. What's this person good at? Too smart. Global learning factor. Uh, 80%, but a brawler. Absolute garbage at, at shooting things. Pretty good at melee. She won't do lo dumb labor, though, which is retarded. I don't know why so many people refuse to do, like, hauling of, of things. Okay, your hauling will be a lower priority, I think. What's your construction? Because, like, all, all Wikidoo is doing is he's not doing things very effectively. Uh, where's the, uh, the space spaceship parts? Are they right here? No? Sorry, I remember I was uh, behind. Okay, there we go. Okay, what could use coming down here? Deconstructing ship chunk. He's a coming. So we'll break this open and we'll see what's inside. These are these are particularly useful. And once we see what it is, we'll uh we'll be done. This has uh steel and components, so interesting shit, and necromantic cat is apparently wearing the travel wear, so Anyways, uh, I think we're going to leave it off there, guys. I hope you're enjoying, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.